Hello besties, uh, welcome to my new video. This is Vanellos or Bibe. Bibe is my real name. Uh, but yeah, in today we are going to be setting up for some compacts because I'm kind of behind on compacts. 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 And one of these compacts has already happened. But that's okay. We'll get into it. <laughs> Uh, I waited with doing this video because I really wanted to see the album inclusions for Kepler's new comeback, Troubleshooter. Uh, so I could also set up for that one. Because uh, I was not sure how many photo cards they were going to give. And I also didn't expect them to do a digi uh, digipack jewel case. I should have expected that. I thought, they <laughs> I thought we were safe. But yeah. Um, I have already done the the like fillers, but I kind of want to show you guys how it looks, the album inclusions, and then I want to show how I will put it in my binder and who I'm gonna collect and how much I'm gonna collect. Okay, so first let's get into Kepler, and then we'll get into Stray Cats. Uh, who is also having a comeback. I'm very excited. <laughs> it's called Maxident. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then we'll also be setting up for NCT 127's new comeback, uh, Two Baddies. So I, this is just K-pop. Uh, K-Town for you, because they have the inclusions here. So for Kepler first, there are the normal photo book versions where there are three versions. There is the K version, the midnight version and the daydream version. Uh, as far as I know, it looks very cool. It's very retro and like the colors. So this is very promising. Also, we've seen two of the concepts and they are both very good. <laughs> so yeah, they are all pretty similar. Uh, the K, the midnight and the daydream in that they have all the same amount of inclusion for each version, which is very normal for Kepler. So firstly, we have yeah, the K version, where we have the photo book, packaging, CD, envelope. Envelope is probably where they're going to put the inclusions. And then for the photo cards, there are, for this concept, the K version, there are 18 photo cards and you get two photo cards, which is enough to collect one member because there are nine members. So you can buy one of each version and you will have enough photo cards to collect your member, which is lump. Which is nice. I like that you both get many photo cards, but those also, you know, easy to collect. Then we have the lyric book, and then we have the ID card. And as I understand it, and then we have stickers, which are not random, a collection chip, which are random, but I don't know if they have like their face on it or anything. Yeah, so that's what you get in one album. For the Midnight version, it's, you know, the same lyric book. And then two photographs and one ID. And yeah, you can see the ID you see again, it's blue. So that's why I'm thinking three different kinds of IDs. You following. And then the Daydream version looks the same, just yellow, two photographs, one ID, and yeah, stickers. So the inclusions are kind of different from do glass but also different from a uh, first impact it's usually uh two photo cards per um what's it called concept that's very kepler and then for the like pre-order only you get a poster is that not no it's not my specific specific there are three kinds but i will guess that's just the three concepts oh but i like the member posters no, and then we have Polaroids, which are limited. You know, not gonna get that. So yeah, that's the normal photo book version. Yeah, there are six photo cards and three IDs. But no, wait, one was like Digipacks. <laughs> so we have Digipacks now. And there are nine Digipack, one to have each member. Which is interesting. There's a photo book. 
which is also member specific and then there are one photo card uh, per person so there you get one photo card and there is nine photo card in total so yeah one each person oh here you get a member specific poster but they are small also the signed version this time is going to be the digipack version so they are going to sign the digipack version which is a little disappointing uh, because it's not gonna look great uh, beside my other side because it's gonna be so small that's gonna be young but it's the jewel cases are member specific but that mean, doesn't mean that because you get uh, for example the Hikaru uh, jewel case that doesn't mean that you would get a Hikaru signature so you can get like Yeso signature on a Hikaru album make it make sense yeah 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 that's weird that's weird weird move by him wife so that's uh kepler so for strange guys i just went to my twitter because k time for you hasn't updated their um in uh, what's called description yet with the new picture so i just look at twitter so this is how the two normal versions looks they are very cute <laughs> i like them a lot Pink is my favorite color, so this is everything. This is everything for me. Okay, so yeah, there are two no normal versions, then there's a limited version. Very typical Stray Kids having limited versions. So the outer packaging, the photo book, um, the CD, the lyric paper, nothing random. Then for the photo cards here, you can see there are three uh, concepts. Uh, because there are four, uh, 24 photo cards in total and for Stray Kids it doesn't matter what version you buy they always just mix up this the photo cards so you can buy the like this version the pink version I would say and then you can get photo cards for the black and the white version you know uh, Stray Kids is just very random <laughs> with photo cards and you get two uh, photo cards um per album which is pretty nice uh, makes it easier to collect more people so you cannot finish uh, a member with just one album but if you buy two albums or three for the whole set you have more than enough for collecting one person and you actually have enough to collect two people they look very cute the concept has been so good hyunjin has have like three different hair colors i think and they're all good they're all so good <laughs> i'm so excited and then you have the mini posters which are random and kind of member specific i don't know if they are going to symbolize each member we'll know when we get them and then we have the face stickers they are funny they are funny but I don't know if I'm gonna put those in my binder. It's just floating heads. Uh, this is the pre-order. For the pre-order, you get like kind of a set where you get a Polaroid, a Polaroid car kind of photo card, and a love letter, which makes sense with the like hard and pink stuff. But also a love letter. That's Delulu. <laughs> That's very delusional, but it's fine. Um, it seems like you get a set, so if you get the Hyunjin Polaroid, you will get the Hyunjin love letter. That's how I read it, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna put the Polaroid also uh, in my binder because it's, um, you know, uh, PC sized. It's a photo card sized. And then we have the folded poster, very normal, they are not member specific. And that's everything for the standard version, the normal versions. And then for the like limited version, they, it is the same for most things. Oh yeah, 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 so everything here is normal. And then we get into the limited edition only. You get a mini folder poster, poster which seems to be maybe specific, specific. So I will try maybe to get um, by biases. And then we have a four cut photo, which is like, photo set thing i don't know it's cute it's cute i'm i'm glad i only bought one version of the limited album because it there's not a lot and then you also get the normal pre-order uh, at the moment i have 
the limited version on the way and I have one of the standard versions on the way. So I do not have every one, every album, but I will probably get uh, every version of the album. It's just, yeah, I didn't have enough money last month because of Billy to pre-order a lot of Stray Kids, but it's fine. It's fine. I do not collect pops for Shinjin. I just keep the pops that I get. Yeah, if if you know. So I have like at least one pop for each year since I started collecting for Hyunjin and that's what I'm happy with. Also, I have not been talking about this, uh, but it's kind of relevant. I'm not gonna do anything about it in this video, but I have thought about downsizing again. I know it just released a downsizing video not that long ago, but I'm feeling like I need to get rid of more. Which you will kind of see when I start sitting up for which member I'm sitting up for. So yeah, that's everything for Stray Kids. Um, then for the last two baddies, I just pulled up um, a template from, oops, Hyuk, because Two baddies is a fucking nightmare to realize what is an album PC because there are so many country specific limited photo cards for like both the digipack and the normal versions and like it's 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 a whole fucking mess and I don't want to collect all that so my plan for Duyang uh, is that I'm going to play like these three. And then maybe if I get something, uh, maybe Japan specific, because I often buy a Nyokyo, you can see up here <laughs> the tabs are Nyokyo. For now, the plan is that I want to get these free cards. Uh, and that's everything that I want to set up for. It's overwhelming. Um, I have a friend, uh, he collects um, Johnny and just watching him trying to get every Johnny is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> so I don't want to go through that. Leo can do that. I can just watch Leo try and get every Johnny. But yeah, that's my thought about uh, two baddies. Um, I think that's everything I've set up for. There are no more compacts except for Sulkies. And I don't know what I want to do with Sulkies yet. I hope the lighting is okay. I have to work with what I have. It gets so dark already in Denmark, like so early. It's just like dark. Uh, I have to use my ring light. Um, but yeah, I have all the floors in here. This is my, oh, you have not seen this yet. I did some uh, binder reorganization. So I bought a new binder for TXT because it got like too small. Uh, and then I decided to split up my my gold group binder into two binders. So this binder is my Billy binder and my Kepler binder now. So Billy and Kepler has their own binder also because uh, things has happened with my Billy collection. But I I think I'm just gonna my jump over it and you will see it in my shorting for the cards video. Because I will get a lot of Billy in that one, so it's a secret for now. Very much a secret. So let's get into Kepler. Okay, so as I talked before, um, I have been kind of stressed with my Kepler collection. I think taking up three members was, you know, at the time I got choice, but I also didn't expect Billy to have like two comebacks just after another. And yeah, it's there has been a lot of things going on. So I think I'm going to downsize my Kepler collection. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to downsize it, but I think I'm definitely going to drop something. Uh, and I think sadly, what I am thinking of dropping, I think I'm uh, dropping Bai, which is very sad to me because I love her with all my heart. I love her so much. Um, I've been really supporting her since um, Ghost Planet 99 and I've tried everything to get her to debut with voting and stuff but I just don't think she is my top two anymore because I just fell so much in love with Yujin 
And I really think Eugene is my like bias uh, breaker. She is my number two now. So um, what I'm thinking is I think I'm gonna downsize buy from first impact and then i don't know if i'm gonna collect eugene for first impact i have to like look at how expensive it would be um to collect her so maybe i will just have a machido for first impact and then also for do blast i would also have to downsize buy and then just have eugene and machido and I think that would be kind of nice because there are nine cards so they could be on like two pages. But I don't know, I'm feeling kind of sad about it also. Uh, and also I'm gonna uh, definitely, definitely, definitely gonna downsize my pop situation because I thought I was fine with just having a nine page, right? Because it's just, it's, it's not so bad. <laughs> Uh, compared to how many they are, but I'm just not satisfied with the pops for Kepler because they look exactly like the album cards and they are also like very identical cards. Like that's the same outfit, she's almost standing the same way. And yeah, this is the same outfit and this is obviously a lot cuter than this one. So why do I keep this one when this is very much superior? And these are good. These I will not complain about, but I don't know. I feel like I wanted to collect everything because uh, I was there for um, debut and pre-debut, but I need to chill. <laughs> I need to chill the fuck down because I want to collect so much for Billy. I need to um, cut something from other collections. And I think sadly Kepler will have to be cut down. But yeah, I will I will put away a lot of photo cards in my next like storing photo cards video. And after that video, I will do a downsizing because I do actually have a lot of buy cards on the way. And I want to put them in my binder before I sell them. Just to show them. It's especially her like scout photo cards. That's so cute. That's that's such a good card. But yeah, I will have to cut this down. Also because like, why do I have a Hikaru? I love Hikaru and this is iconic. And I got it like with one of my albums, but uh, she's not my bass line. <laughs> Why do I keep stuff, you know, that doesn't bring me as much joy? And I could use that money on other collections. You know, I'm not just made of money. So all this is to say for um, Troubleshooter? Is that the name? Yeah, so for Troubleshooter, I will only be setting up for Machiro and Eugene. That's my whole, like, that's my whole conclusion for now. So let me just find them. This is every filler. Ooh. That I will be setting up for. So Eugene is older, so see, we go here, and then Machiro will go here, and then would we, they would be like mirroring each other. That's what I'm thinking. That's my, yeah, that's what's going on in my head. So as I usually do, I put them in with the like blank side up when I don't have the card on the way and then I turn them around when I do have the card on the way. So that would mean uh, I would have to put them in like this because I want them to be like facing each other. I don't know if that makes sense, you will see it. It's kind of like how I do double spreads and like everything almost. <laughs> so this is the K version, which is like the pink version, but I do not have like pink fillers. So I'm gonna do like black with pink in your area. <laughs> um, oh, I have not talked about that. <gasps> I have not talked about that. Maybe I should talk about that. So, um, Blackpink is coming to Denmark, they're coming to Copenhagen and I am going to be watching them because I'm going to the Blackpink concert. This will be my like first in-person <laughs> K-pop concert ever. I have not been to a K-pop concert uh, except like um, digital, digital concerts. So this is probably something out of the blue because I do not collect Blackpink, but I do love Blackpink <laughs> and I do listen a lot to their music and they're coming to Denmark. 
So I'm going to watch Blackpink. <laughs> I'm going with my friend Robin and we will be like meeting a lot of people we know at the concert. Like everyone is going to the concert, obviously. They're coming to Denmark. Nobody is coming to Denmark except Blackpink. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great. So here's Machido. <laughs> oh, I didn't as I try, I don't think I have mentioned that. I should have mentioned that in my new jeans. Uh, I already know that. Uh, I was always tired in that other video. Okay, so I'm going to keep um, K version up here. So uh, photo cards ID, photo cards ID. And then the, what's the blue version called? Midnight? Midnight. So, Eugene, Midnight A, because there are two photo cards, so I'll just call them A and B. But I'm really excited. Shutdown is such a good song. I'm just gonna say it. I like Shutdown more than I like Black, uh, Pink Venom. It's just, it hit for me. <laughs> but the whole album is great. The whole album is really great. I am considering getting one Black Pink album just so I'm, you know, ready for the concert. And also I want a Jisoo uh, photo card so that I can take with me to the concert because Jisoo is my bias. Also, yeah, I'm just putting in Machido's PCs. Uh, like, of course Jisoo is my bias. I like her a lot. You can see here. Oh no, it's folded over. So I would like to, you know, have like a little uh, photo card case and then a little Tiso photo card with me. I'm not buying the light stick though, because I'm that's that's expensive. <laughs> okay, so and then we have the daydream, which is the yellow one. So yeah, if anyone is going to the concert in Copenhagen, let me know. <laughs> If you want to meet up and stuff, you know, I will be at the cheap seats. <laughs> I got it, yeah. But I think we got pretty good seats. I joined one of the pre-sales and it went pretty well. Actually, I was afraid because I've heard so many uh, horror stories about getting tickets for uh, Keep Go concerts, but I don't know. It was not as stressful as I thought it would be. The pre-sale went well. I don't know what to say, it's just, it's it went well. I got the tickets and I got me and my friend tickets, you know, besides each other. And you know, it's not the like VIP fancy tickets, but you know, we got tickets. <laughs> We're going to see Blackpink. Uh, okay, so here is all the Santa version. Here's Eugen, Machido, and they will be mirroring each other. I wish I had something pinker. Yeah. And then, of course, we have the Digipack versions. And I think I'm just going to put these on the back for now. In the middle here. And then maybe I, when I figure out how many pops I will be getting, I will, can maybe put them on the pop page. I think that would make sense. So I'm definitely getting an M-Way pop and then I'm also getting my friend is having a go for uh, Kepler. So I will also be getting one more pop there. And I don't know if I'm getting more. This is my setting up for Kepler. Okay, let me find the Stray Kids binder and then we can get into Stray Kids. So this is the Stray Kid binder. I don't think anything has changed since you last saw it. Uh, let's go to the the back. So I think it's gonna be here because it's after ordinary. Yeah. So I have also <laughs> been thinking a lot about my my stray kid collection because. Let's go back, let's go back, so you can kind of see my thoughts. My thing is, I really want to collect every Shinjin Pa. Not Pa, no, no, I don't want to do that, but I really want all of his album photo cards. And as you can see, it's going okay. 
And as you also can see, I have a lot of Felix where I do not have the Hyunjin equivalent, like these two. Uh, and you can kind of see it even more with uh, the mirror, I'm doing pretty good. But with like Lavender and Yellowwood, I'm doing so great on Felix, but I'm doing less great with Hyunjin. And uh, I have been thinking a lot about that because Hyunjin is my bias. Like, no doubt, he is one of my old biases. I love Hyunjin so much. <laughs> he is my guy. Uh, and I am doing pretty great from with him from, like, in life and onwards. I am done with him, actually. Like, this is done. I know this looks like an empty spot, but I just want a dupe of the double-sided to put here, like I have with Felix over here. But he is actually done. I don't need that one. It, it was just if I got a dupe. And with No Easy uh, and Christmas Evil, I am done. I have everything. And I don't want Felix. So it's kind of like a weird thing where I have a lot of Felix older cards, but I have a lot of Hyunjin's newer cards. Because my focus is always on getting Hyunjin first. Because he has my bias and he is one of my old biases. So. Of course, he will always get my attention, but I feel like sometimes I really fall behind on collecting Felix. Like, look at Christmas Evil is just so sad. Um, and that is making me think that maybe I should just stop collecting Felix. And just put that energy on just collecting Hyunjin. And then maybe if I got uh, rid of some of his older cards and then try to trade the older Felix card, I might be able to get the Hyunjin card I'm missing. So that's, you know, my kind of thinking. Also because, um, sad reality, Hyunjin and Felix are both uh, very expensive members. Uh, and, well, not very expensive, but they are the, oops, the expensive line of Stray Kids. That's the sad truth of it all. They shouldn't be. <laughs> Uh, they should all be equal um, value. They are all very good boys, Stray Kids, but uh, it's it's just not how the reality is. And I think every Stray Kids uh, collector know know of the like Hyunjin curse almost. Uh, and I I do have an okay time collecting Hyunjin because I put all my energy into collecting Hyunjin, so that makes it easier co to collect. But I do not put the same kind of energy into Felix, which means I end up missing a lot of Felix. And, you know, my conclusion to all of that again is that I will only be setting off Fusion Jin. There is a good possibility I will get a lot of photo cards, which can maybe help me collecting Felix. But I will try this error to getting Shinjin first, and then I will see how I'm feeling after the era. Also because a new comeback always gives you like new energy into loving a group. So maybe I will get like total different feelings on my collection when the comeback is over. So I really want to enjoy this comeback first. That is just to say, yeah, I'm only setting up for Hyundai. this comeback. And then we'll take it from there. We'll take it from there. So yeah, there are, as you saw, six normal photo cards no i am lying there are three normal photo cards and then there is the like pre-order limited polaroid thing yeah so i have polaroid the three ooh, normal photo cards here i just put max for like maxiden so i'm just gonna put these in and then we'll say I set up for the comeback. A uh, bigger inclusion, I will probably collect uh, Hyunjins, but I will just put them in. I don't need to set up for them. Also have to see what I pull because I have not uh, joined group orders. I just bought albums, so it's a whole different experience. And then I'll just put more of these in to just fill out the page. I will guess I can just put the next comeback here. Also, I'm not uh, sure yet if they're gonna do a digipack. There's a big chance they're going, going to do like a jewel case or digipack version because 
I know JYP <laughs> uh, Entertainment. You can't trust them. They will always make like a special version last minute. So there is space for a digipack if they decide to do that or a jewel case. There's space. But yeah, I think that's everything for Stern Kids. Welcome to the SM Mail Group Binder. I have not set up for gasoline because I will just put in my pulse. Okay, so this is Doyang. So what I'm thinking, ooh, there are free spaces. That's wonderful. Also, yeah, you can see I'm not even done with like Universal Favorite or anything, but it's fine. We, we, we don't have to hurry up, you know? We don't have to hurry up. We can take it slow. I know that's controversial, even for me. But you know, let's take it slow. Um. So yeah, let's put the placeholder thingy tabs on. So we're gonna do the faster version here. And then we're gonna do the two baddies version here. That's a bad name for an album version. You don't call it this album title. They did that with Sticker too. That was dumb. I still think it's dumb. It's horrible to search on your cure after that. Uh, and then we're gonna put the digi back here. I like Sticker, Sticker. Stupid. Stupid. But yeah, that is setting up for two baddies. I'm just gonna continue with. That's actually a cute page. Should we end it on here? Because I don't think we have anything else to set up. That is kind of, that's kind of it, you know? It's kind of it. So, uh, I hope this video was like something. I hope I could um, inspire anyone else to how they want to set up for the new comebacks. Too bad it's probably like, <laughs> I'm way too late for that. But maybe for the other comebacks i could probably inspire someone to how to set up for it but anyway so yeah that's everything uh, i have to set up for comeback i will be back when txt announced they will have a comeback hopefully in a month hopefully so anyway see ya